saw her in the team round, and now she's back for more individually. Representing France, Audrey Addition. And here comes her opponent for the bronze medal. Shooting for the bronze on target number one, representing Japan, Fumio Miyaki. Set play conducted under the supervision of World Archery International Judge, Yelamina Garcia. We'll decide which of these archers heads home as a finalist and who takes home a medal. We're about to get underway. Archer on target. Let's take a look at the brackets and how these archers got to this bronze medal match. And Mackenzie, it was um, you know some really tight matches to set the stage for what we're going to see: bronze medal between Japan and France, and the gold medal matches between Mexico and Germany coming up. But right now, it is between Audrey Adicion, who I think at least at this first couple of shots has a bit of an advantage because she's already been out here. I would agree. I mean, it still comes down to her making good shots, but. Having that experience on the field will definitely help you with the lighting for sure. Yaki oh. nine just outside. individual matches. The set points will change a little bit. Um, the, the idea is the same. If you have the higher score, you would get two set points. If you both have the same score in this instance, a 28, you get one set point each, but it is six points to win the match. If you draw to a 5-5 tie, then it is a one arrow shoot off closest to center. Let's see if we can listen in on this call. Nine, nine, ten. Okay, so that's confirmation as we had a nine, ten liner call. So 28 points for each archer. So we split the set points. We heard a little earlier Fumio Miyaki's coach telling her just to relax, keep it light. I mean, I'm paraphrasing, obviously. I was just using some body language, but... Definitely when you come out here, it's easy to, to get in your head and get a little excited, but uh, to, to calm down and go back to your process and the way you're shooting is, is definitely key here. Still a good shot, just barely out of the, the ten ring. One went a little long for her, it yeah. seems. Long hold, there's about five seconds on the clock for the 21-year-old Miyaki from Japan. Good shot. Yeah. 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 
solid finish. Something about Audrey that just makes me smile when she releases that shot. Good oh, shot. shot. Good answer. So, uh, to what you said, Audrey's shot uh, at the end is very determined, very strong there at the finish. Um, and, and that's really key if, if you have a little bit of, um, of a weak shot to, to set up. As long as you finish the shot, it's going to go where you want it to go. Um, she looks like she's having a good time out there, very determined, very confident, um, but really sticking to what she knows, and that's her shot. Audrey Adicion, 21 years old, ranked 15th in the world. On stage earlier today with her team in team competition as she now pulls ahead <coughs> three set points to one over Fumio Miyaki of Japan. Miyaki, the archer behind, she'll shoot first. It's a good way to start off this end, especially being behind. Another good answer. A little look. Strong shot. That shot Miyaki had, she gave a little bit of look over to Audrey. Quick one. Shooting. That was really good. But what, what, to, what you were saying with uh, with Miyaki looking over to Audrey is they are facing each other, which is interesting. You know, Audrey is a left-handed shooter, so she's on the, she's on the right. So you are looking straight at your competitor in the eye. A lot of times we're we're right-handed shooters. Most people end up being right-handed, and you don't look at your competitor. But when you look them in the eye, it's it, it adds a little bit of extra something to uh, to the dynamic. It certainly does. Last two shots, replay. You can see, again, having the Jumbotrons, having the big screens up on either side of the competitor. So downrange, obviously you have the targets, but just offset to the left and to the right are those big screens. And it's the greatest pair of binoculars ever. If they're showing the target, you get to see your shot. Good, solid 10 right there. Good way to start off. Under the time pressure from her coach as well. She seemed very uh, unhappy with that shot, but um, you know, again, set points, anything can happen. That's a recovery shot, no doubt. So with that, 30 points for Miyaki, 
We'll go all tie in four set points per athlete. This is something what? we talked about earlier with the, the team matches is even though, you know, mathematically Audrey couldn't have won that set, it's still a, that same chance to get some of those nerves out with the, those last two shots. Build that confidence back up after a mistake. You know, and for those that were able to get to World Archery events or watch it, Miyake was our 17th place qualifier with 560 points. Audrey was our, Benicion was our 7th place qualifier with 581 of a possible 600. So when you get to those brackets, anything can happen. Absolutely. Yeah. Great start for Audrey. Ten and seven shots. Wow. 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 Good shot. If we see a 10 here, we'll have a shoot off. No. There's the there 10. Is. Wow. Big smile from Fumio Miyaki. I'll tell you what, Greg. Uh, mm. Shoot offs have got to be one of my favorite things that Why? happen in competitions. Oh, no, watching it or shooting it? Uh, a little bit of both. <laughs> I don't mind shooting shoot-offs, but Watching at the end sure of the day, the it, it is a little bit of luck, but if you can compete and have pressure on you and still make a good shot, that's what's going to win a shoot-off. And it's just exciting. It's that extra little bit of something different. You know, you go through sets and you get a 6-4 win or a 6 win or whatever, and it's just... <laughs> truly good competition because these people are so evenly matched that they're coming down to closest to center. And that's it. World Archery folks are hanging up brand new targets so they can have a nice clean target to determine who will be closest to the center. Key to keep in mind, the rules are of those three targets you see, you have to shoot the middle target. If you don't shoot the middle target, it's a zero. So, closest to the center, <laughs> Audrey, Adicion, shoot first. Everyone on the edge of their seat. For bronze. that her shot might break down. Wow, oh, that quick shot. That was a quick shot, but it, it's a 10. I mean, shooting shoot-offs, if you can match, it's just tiny, tiny bits. And the, the difference between their arrows is maybe a quarter inch. Yeah. That 10 ring about the diameter of a golf ball. And there, so hands happy. in the air, bronze medal Great winner. From Audrey Vinicium. 2018 World Archery Indoor Championships here in Yankton, South Dakota. So congratulations to Adicion. That final end, they tied at 29. So it started off with split points, and then Adicion went up three to one. And then Miyaki battled back we're all tied, and it's that closest arrow to the center. Both shot 10s, but Audrey Adicion was 
pretty much as close to the center as you can get. A couple millimeters off, and it was good enough to take home the bronze. Look at the highlights, and you know, when we were watching that last shot, I thought to myself, shot's breaking down, it's breaking down. She's got to get through the clicker. But she pulled it off. Again, that has to do with the finish of her shot. It's super confident. It did go a little long, but she knew how to keep it together and, and do what was needed.